Once upon a time, Britney Spears was the most talked about pop superstar on the planet. Back in those days, whether she was dressing in all jean next to Justin Timberlake, having a drunk wedding with a high school ex, or locking lips with Madonna, whatever she did was always front page news. But that was the mid-2000s and in more recent years, things have settled down for Britney. According to a recent interview with Entertainment Tonight, Britney has spent the last year prioritizing herself and her well-being, something she didn't have a chance to do as much during her Las Vegas residency. She has had less time with her sons, but got really close with her mom Lynn and sister Jamie Lynn again recently. Britney spends most of her time at home with her boyfriend Sam Asghari. He brings her so much joy and is a source of stability in her often chaotic life and she's been with him for almost four years now. But of course there have been plenty of other bachelors over the years. Some of you remember for better or worse like KFED who at the time of this recording has 28k followers on Instagram. Out. Also who knew she had a thing with Eminem and Jared Leto? In this video I've got everyone from her childhood sweethearts up to her random and flings and the hot model man she currently has in her life. What's going on guys, it's Kara back at it with a new series we've titled Who Dated Who. These videos might get a little intertwined because there are some people who have hooked up with everyone. I'm looking at you Lindsay Lohan. As we do with our other series, I need you guys to let me know who to do next in the comments down below. How about Ariana Grande or Paris Hilton? You let me know, you know where, and I'll see you guys after the intro. <laughs> First up we got Reg Jones whom she met back in 1986 and the couple dated for two years. He was four years her senior and it looks like he even took her to his prom. I actually found an old love letter between the two dated back to 1999 where she is begging him to come visit her in Atlanta during her Baby One More Time concert tour. Someone has paid 1200 bucks for this piece of Britney history. There is rumored to be one more dude from her hometown named Jason Getter, but besides info about her being into him, no one has info or a photo. Next up we got Robbie Carrico. He he was another pop star on the rise as a member of Boys and Girls United and the pair dated for six months throughout 1999. Just like his group, Robbie would disappear never to be heard from again. Today he looks totally different with long hair and was an American Idol wannabe. Alright now we get to one you all know, the couple that made matching jean suits famous. I'm talking Justin Timberlake from 1999 to 2002. Although the two knew each other from back in their Mickey Mouse Club days, they made the perfect queen and king of pop for the early 2000s. They broke up not one but twice in 2002 before it was finally over, which then gave Justin albums Justified, where he got the ultimate revenge on Britney with the song and music video for Cry Me a River. So Britney cheated on JT. Who was the man? Well, the internet seems to believe that it was backup dancer Wade Robson who she dated briefly. Well, the internet seems to believe that it was backup dancer Wade Robson who she dated briefly following her split from Justin. Last, anything anyone's heard about Wade is that he was part of the documentary Leaving Neverland, where he went back on past statements and stated that he was sexually molested by Michael Jackson. From there, Britney Spears was all over Hollywood hooking up with everyone. She apparently hooked up with Eminem, the New England OG Tom Brady, before dating Fred Durst briefly. There were more Hollywood hookups with Colin Farrell, Scott Storch, Columbus Short, and Jared Leto before she decided to settle down. That's right, Britney Spears married Jason Alexander for a total of two days. So it's coming, we're gonna do the marriage question now. Okay. Let's breathe, let's breathe through this, okay? And it's not gonna be that bad. But here we go. Mm -hmm. um, you said it was a joke and that it was Vegas and you got carried away. I get carried away in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But what were you thinking? What was your headspace? Honestly, I really wanted to see what it was like to be married. <laughs> Maybe that sounds silly, but in, in that moment, I was just, um, I was with a friend and I, that I love dearly. And I wanted to do something wild and crazy. And um, I wanted to get married. Next up was the real deal with Kevin Federline. After dating for three months, the two were engaged and married, which lasted close to three years. Don't worry, there was a prenup. Everything overnight, all the adjustments. And everything, and then they got to wear their dresses and be in the wedding. That was pretty. But uh, she was just like, well, I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> All the guys were downstairs and all the ladies and the girls ended up upstairs and it was just the most fun. Everybody at first was very shocked, but then the shock went into excitement. We probably had as much fun getting ready for the wedding as we had during the wedding and the ceremony. Yes! Just actually seeing my little sister looking really grown up and that really touched me a lot. So, I mean, it worked out. 
It worked out pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we Perfect. did good, baby. I'm like sitting in the back, getting dressed, changing, you know, I got butterflies in my stomach. I'm everything. Palms and feet are sweating. He got a big heart, you know what I mean? Kevin's a cool dude. Kevin's still Kevin, dude. That's what's good about him. He's still Kevin. <laughs> and then we got my brother, Chris. We got my other brother, Curtis. And then we had her brother in there, too. Those were my best men. I mean, just telling, just when we was getting ready to go out before the ceremony, that was really, you know, just congratulating him. He's ready for that step. Go ahead, we there with him, you know? We just, just letting him know we was there with him, that's it. More recently, KFIT has been on Celebrity Fit Club and the Australian weight loss show, Excess Baggage. When the marriage ended, Britney went back to her old ways, bouncing from man to man. First up, there was record producer J.R. Rodham, who she was with in 2007 for two months. Then there was male model Isaac Cohen. The two hooked up in 2007 before she went to rehab, a place he later told the tabloids he felt was a good decision for her. In rehab, she met singer Howie Day, whom she dated for four months in 2007. Then there was a rumored hookup with Chris Angel that same year. She met pilot John Sundahl in AA and they became dating sober mates for six months in 2008. Sadly, the man passed away serving in Afghanistan. The next one has to be the strangest one on this list and the creepiest. For whatever reason, Brittany began to date one of the men who stalked her on the daily. We're talking about paparazzi member Adnan Ghalib. She dated him for 10 months between 2009 to 2010, but now has a restraining order against him. Adnan had shacked up with her in multiple hotels and gone on secret jaunts to Palm Springs. Springs and Mexico with her. There, he allegedly made a sex tape starring Britney naked and wearing a pink wig, and nothing else. I mean, if anyone knows the value of a sex tape, it's gotta be a member of the paparazzi. Another strange rumor is Mario Lopez, who she was said to have hooked up with in 2008. It didn't take that long for Britney to start thinking third time's a charm. After dating Hollywood agent Jason Trawick for over two years, the two were engaged, but then called it off in 2013. Then there was regular Joe David Lucado, whom she met at a party. It was said that he he had cheated on her after the pair dated for one year and five months, so it's safe to say that was over. Next up, TV producer Charlie Ebersol for eight months in 2015. Then CEO of Hollywood's Pink Taco and the co-owner of the Viper Room, Harry Morton, for five months in 2016. And finally, we have Sam Asghari, who she's currently been dating for the past three and a half years. He's 26 years old at the moment and is a personal trainer turned model and even aspiring actor. They met on the set for her music video shoot for Slumber Party. Sam told Men's Health about the gig that, I was excited that I get to meet one of the biggest artists of all time. I had butterflies. Sam said he cracked jokes to Britney on set pretending he didn't know her name and flirted. He then gave Brit his number and five long months later she actually reached out. Britney said in a radio interview, I was like, he was really cute. This guy was really cute. So I called him. He's just a really fun, funny person. Afterwards, they went out for sushi together and it wasn't long before the paparazzi was snapping pics of the good looking couple. They became Instagram official on New Year's Day 2017 with this photo Britney posted. Then it was his. In fact, Britt recently posted an early birthday tribute on Instagram to her main man and it's super sweet. Happy early B day to this man. I adore and love him so much. Happy birthday, Sam Asghari. She captioned a snap of the two of them with this. Two work out together a lot, whether it's outside, their indoor gym, dancing, and more. Not to mention, Britney is 13 years his senior, but Sam doesn't mind at all. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, he said absolutely when asked whether he saw marriage in his future with Britney and added, this is something that every couple should do. That's the whole point of a relationship. We are a family. Trust me, if we ever do get married, everybody's going to know. How cute is that? All right, guys, so that about wraps it up for our list of who the queen Britney Spears has dated over the years. Although she's had a pretty long list, the woman's been in Hollywood since she was a kid, so it's no wonder all of them have been publicized. From Justin Timberlake to K-Fed and everyone in between, all those aside, she seems to be happy now. Britney is in a steady relationship with her personal trainer slash model boyfriend, Sam, and the pair seems content as ever. Now, of course, I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Did you know about all the guys Britney's dated or were there some that surprised you? Now, of course, I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Did you know about all the guys Britney's dated or were there some that surprised you? What do you Britney fans think about Sam? If you like these Who Dated Who videos, let me know whose list you'd like to see next. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Thank you.